tracking your progress. There's two ways that I recommend tracking your progress. Number one is by tracking scale weight daily. And number two is by taking progress photos at the end of each month. Now, if, this, if the goal, if your overall goal is to lose weight on the scales, then I highly recommend tracking your scale weight each and every morning. First thing in the morning, straight out of bed, after you've gone to the toilet, minimal clothes on. Now, the reason why I recommend doing it daily is just so we can have a look at the average across a week, because that's going to give us a better reflection of your actual uh, accurate weight. Whereas if you were to just do it once per week, let's say you weighed in on like a Wednesday, you could weigh 65 kg. The next Wednesday, you could weigh 66 kg. Now, you might be under the impression that you're not actually making you're not actually making any progress but in reality you probably just had an extra bit of carbohydrate the night before or an extra bit of sodium the night before and it, that'll drive up the scale weight the scale weight your body weight will fluctuate wildly across a week so if we have a look at it if we do it daily then we can have a look at the at the average across a week plus we want to have a look at trends over time we want to make sure that the weight is even though it's not going to go in a straight line it's going to go up and down up and down but we want to make sure it's going in a general direction downwards that means you're doing all the right things if it's roughly staying at maintenance then you're obviously at maintenance calories if sorry if it's, if it's roughly staying the same then you're at maintenance calories that means we'll need to dial back the calories a little bit but you might actually be losing body fat even at maintenance calories and you could be happy with how you feel and, and how you're looking at that stage if it's trending upwards that means you're in a in a surplus of calories that means you're taking in more calories than your body is actually burning so then we'll have to dial back the calories in a little bit if you're not that concerned with scale weight, what you can do is just track uh, progress photos at the end of each month. Um, ideally, you'd want to be doing these photos in the same room, same lighting, same clothing on, and doing them on roughly on the same day as, as the last month. So we can get them as accurate as possible. When you're taking the progress photos, make sure you're about a meter away from the camera and you, you do uh, front, side, and back. You can put those all into the app. So those are the two main ways that I recommend tracking your progress. You can take uh, body circumference measurements if you want to, but similar to scale weight, these tend to fluctuate as well and tend to be a little bit inaccurate. So I, I don't really recommend doing them, but you can if you want to. Um, another, another little handy trick is by taking a piece of clothing that you, uh, that you want to fit in, say a, piece of a pair of jeans that haven't quite fit uh, that the way you'd liked over the, over the past uh, over the past while try them on once per week and then over time you actually see them fitting you a little bit better it's another great way to track your progress but tracking your scale weight daily or doing and doing the before the the progress uh, photos at the end of each month are the two main ways that i recommend